Welcome to my view seven. I'm going to give you the basics just to get you up and running quickly with short videos. So let's make a start. When you open up my view seven, this is what you get. Now you can start from your templates if you want. If we go to education, you might be doing, for example, science degree, and you can open up a lab report. Let me open up one now to give you an idea. And this will give you ideas and methodologies to work off. So definitely worth a look at. But I don't want that. So I'm going to use a little X here and close it. Go back to file. I need to choose which kind of map I want to start with. Don't worry about timeline, outline or gank charts yet. I'll do that in separate little videos. Let's look at how you want to create a map. Do you want to start with the idea in the middle? Top to bottom, left to right and right to left. I'm just going to do with the main idea in the middle. We work our way around clockwise. That keeps structure. So work with that. So now we're ready to go. Don't complicate things again. Just click in the middle and give yourself an idea that you want to work from. So let's do something randomly. That's a big subject. So I'm going to tap off that. So I've got my main subject, history. Now I need to create a little symbol off there to work off my main idea. Now you could come up the top here and select branch or sub branch. Or you might want to use the shortcut keys, which is the enter key or insert key. Or I'll find an easier method. Just double tap on the inside on the corner and there's your branch. And you can keep your workflow going that way. So we've got history. Let's put in... So I put in early dinosaur age. Now if you get a spelling, do a right click on it, select corrections, and you can change the spelling in seconds. So there we go, I've got my first idea. It's not very specific, is it? So let's create another one off history. I've just used that as an idea to work off. Now see how easy I'm creating branches. I'm just double tapping the corner. So if I come to the sub branch and double tap again, I can create an idea off of that. So early dinosaur age, I could put years but also i want to create another sub branch and then we go to late dinosaur age and again create sub branches off of there double tap again and there we go you start your mind map with just a basic idea in the middle and breaking it down i'll just say to you earlier about working from the middle and working clockwise so you might look at that and go do you know what actually I want to talk about effect on the planet first. So hold the left button and drag that above, keep dragging to the top and drop it. And then you can put them into different positions. So what that means now is my main idea is still history, early dinosaur age. My sub paragraph off early dinosaur age is going to be effect on the planet then years. And it works its way clockwise. Now if that still gets a bit confusing, not a problem. See in the home tab at the top, select numbering and select the numbering scheme you want. I'm going to use that numbering scheme there. And that will make it a little bit easier with 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 and so on. So that's all. I got your ideas down. But sometimes you want to add visual images or colours just to help you remember stuff. Not a problem. Come to the right. You've got a pictures option here. Tab. It's a bit hidden away. Now I'm going to select history. See if we've got anything in there. So we've got prehistory. I'm going to open that up. See what we've got. Is there a caveman there? But I don't think cavemen were around during the dinosaur age was there that was just a fantasy but let me scroll down a bit see if i've got anything else i've not really got anything there that I, I could use but if i did i could hold the left button drag it and then drop it where i want for example saber tooth tiger but if you can't find something specific close that open up your google select google images let's get something a bit more relevant shall we Right, let's look for something really ferocious that'll do. So going to right click and select save image as. Or if you don't want to save the image, why not just copy it? So I'm going to do left click copy image. Open up my mind map and choose where I want to paste that. So I don't want that anymore. So I could do a right click on it and select delete. If I now right click on it again, I can now paste that image with paste. Hold the left button and drag that image bigger so you can see it much better. And there we go. That just helps with the visual map. It's not something you have to use, but it can be really helpful, especially for revision. Also, you might want to use colours. Well, not a problem. Let's go to the top here. So you have to click on what you want to... You have to click on the symbol first that you want to change colour or settings to. So if I select effects on the planet, when I click on this, look at the top. If I select years, see sub-branch at the top? So I want to select format, and now I can change all the settings for that option, including font, size even text color. 
we come to the right here you can change the color scheme flex on flat something i need to work on i'm going to make that red or you might actually change that guys i'm going to make that more of a yellow color i need to do more research on the choice is yours but don't get too bogged down with the colors because you start forgetting what they represent but there again if you do use the colors it's a good option i'm going to show you go to view if you can't see this legend option here select simple interface now i'm going to select legend so if I hover over it and select plus and I'm going to add a color. But I want the exact color we got on the effect on the planet. So I'm going to use my little paint at all. Tap on it, then click OK. I've now added that color up here and I could say that that means that means more research. So you can create a legend of colors. So that will help you keep you organized. But without dragging out this quick video tutorial too much, I'm going to go through all the settings. I'm going to go back by clicking on effects on the planet and format. So we've changed the color. Again, you can do branch shapes if you want as well. But if you're into certain colors, then you could, add, you could add colors here if you want specific colors or even go for gradient color. So you might go, actually, I want a tint of red there. Give it a bit more of a fiery look. Also have the boundary option. Let me select early dinosaur age. And I'm going to select boundary. You see that little boundary going around it? You want to create a boundary for a number of reasons. It could be to separate specific information or stuff you might want to work on. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to add a fill colour. and just going to add a pastel colour here a bit. So it's not too bright. There you go. And you can change the outline colour as well. If you really want it to stand out. And there you go. We're creating the map within what? 5-10 minutes? But one important thing missing here is adding the information into it. Which obviously is imperative. So come back to home. Now I'm going to click on Effect on a Planet. And I've got an option up here called Text Note. You can use the F8 key if you want as well to enable that. I'm going to select it. Because I've selected Effect on a Planet, it now brings up this Text Note editor, which I can now start adding information. So I could type it in, but if I didn't know, you need to do a bit of research, don't you? So I'm just going to put Dinosaurs Effect on a Planet. I want to choose any link. I'm going to try and stay clear a bit of Wikipedia, which you can understand. And there we go. So I've chose the BBC. And I'm going to look at that and say, actually, I'm going to use that. So I'm going to Control C to copy that. Go back to my mind map and I'm going to paste that in. Obviously, if you are sourcing something, obviously you are taking something off the internet or from somewhere, you have to be careful of plagiarism. So you've got a built in referencing system in mind for you. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's not that accurate. So be very careful with reference style because you are limited to reference styles. But I'm going to show you anyway. Because we've opened a text note, look at the top we've got here. Citation. Select it. And we need to select manage sources because we need to find a source. I'm going to select add new source. Now we come here, it's asking what type. Book, films or journals. Now if you had a book, you could put the ISBN number in here of the book. Just the number. Don't worry about the letters. And then that will find the source for the book for you. Again, if you've got a journal number, you could add that in as well, which is normally the DOI number. But we've got a problem. I've got this on the website. There's no option. So I've got to go to manual entry mode. And this is where you have to be careful because depending on the reference style you're using, hundreds of different Harvard reference styles variations. And that don't include APA variations. But with APA and Oscola, you normally only got the one. But if you come to the top, you need to select website. And then you need to fill in the information, which I won't fill it all in now, but I'm going to copy the link just to show you. But I'll tell you what this could be good for. If you just want to remember where your source originally was, it could be a good way just to store stuff in there so you've got all the information. So bear that in mind. Let me put a bit more information in. That'll do, just as an example. And obviously, if it's a website, important, you must do year assessed, month assessed, and day assessed. I haven't filled it all in, but I'm going to show you. So there's the actual source. Click OK. But you'll look at it and go, well, look at the bottom there. It's not added it. Why not? Because once you've added it, you need to insert it. So select citation, insert citations. You can now see it. Now you've got the option of inserting it. If it's a book, you then need to add the book at the page number here. But if it's a website, I'm just going to select insert. And there you go. It puts it in there for you. So be careful with that. I'd use that just to remember where your sources are rather than bookmarking them in a the browser. Close the little X. See the paper clip. We can now access it whenever we want. And there you go. You've now structured and organized your information. 
And if you want to send that to Word, not a problem. If you want to export it, go to File, Export. We're doing it to Word. You can do it to PowerPoint. We'll do it to Word. You could do quick Word export, but I recommend do custom. Choose your template. Now, obviously, you don't want something like a mixture or corporate unless you're doing something specific on that because it gives you headings you don't want. If you're using Harvard, keep it simple. So I'm going to use Harvard. Go up to General. Now, you can look at these later. They're all self-explanatory, but the main ones I want you to look at is the top. We're going to export the map to a Word document and we're going to include table contents. But I'm also going to include that bibliography we added earlier. Remember, title page, maybe go to the right. I could fill that in. No, I'm not going to bother, so I'm going to untick that. Again, any text notes you've added or branch pictures you can choose to include or not when you export it. So let's export and select Open Document. Any field, click Yes to enable any fields. We're going to update the page numbers only. All your information from your visual map to your table of contents to the right here, all you in order and you've even got your bibliography at the end. Now, what I said about the bibliography, be careful, because if I click on it, if I select bibliography and come up to references, it only uses the reference style you've got in this option here. In this case, it's Harvard Angular. You haven't got any variations. So really take that into account when you're using that option. If you want to save your map, go to File, Save As, and choose where you want to save it to with Computer Browse. Come back out of there. And any branch you don't want is not a problem. Just tap on it and select the delete key on the keyboard or select delete at the top. And there you go. There's a quick video tutorial get you up and running. Thanks for watching.